What's going on, comic fam? It's your boy, the Bearded Comic Bro, and I'm back for another episode of Bearded and Cole's Comic Cover Challenge. And today, we're looking at our favorite comic covers that have vehicles on them. So, don't overthink this, gang. They can be iconic vehicles. They can just be a car, a boat, a plane, a motorcycle. It doesn't have to be like a specific, you know, special vehicle. It can just be something that has a vehicle on it. Uh, but it can be iconic vehicles. I would love to see those too. So we want to see what your favorite vehicle covers are. So with that being said, let's talk comics. Better put your word out. Get ready for the nerd out. Better put specs on. Better break necks on. I caught handsome checks for my expansion sets. They call me Obi-Wan. Act like you know me, son. Up first, we have one of the oldest comic books in my collection. This is a Dick Tracy comic. It is from a popped wheat cereal giveaway from 1947. And I couldn't find much about the artist on the cover. Everything that I would assume, it's actually a Chester Gold cover being 1947. But you have the police boat on the cover. I had to throw in this comic because it's so, so important in my collection that when we were talking about vehicles, I was like, perfect. We got to have a boat. So I don't have these in any particular order except for the Dick Tracy one first because I'm just going to use this as a backer. Um, so I'm just going to pull and see what we get and go from there. Yes, gang, we got Hook. Issue number two, this is uh, the comic book movie adaptation of the classic movie Hook with Dustin Hoffman as Hook and Robin Williams as Peter Pan. And gang, this cover is done by Charles Vess. I love collecting um, comic adaptations of movies. So cool. I, I'm so glad to have this. I mean, you just had a boat. Why not have a pirate ship? Let's go. Again, these vehicles can be anything, gang. <laughs> Next up, we have... Hoo -hoo, yes! When we move this bad boy away, we have Batman Superman World's Finest. Issue number one. This is the Jerry Seinfeld Coffee and Cars variant cover by Dan Mora. I was so happy. I think originally this was going to be a 1 in 100, and they just ended up making the Virgin variant of this cover, the exclusive one, and then they had this one that was available for everyone to pick up. I, I'm so glad they did that, and even if they didn't do that, I'm just glad that this is a regular cover that I could spend regular money and get because sometimes these variant covers are so cool, but I'm not spending that 1 in 100 money, or even the 1 in 50, probably not even the 1 in 25. I'm cheap, gang. Let's go. But Dan Mora artwork, ugh, perfect, right? And then you have the classic Batmobile, which I adore, you know, throwing the, the homage to the 1966 Batmobile. You've got Batman and Superman on, and you got Jerry Seinfeld. What more do you need in a comic book? Let's go. Ah, ha, ha, yes. This is the classic Amazing Spider-Man 306. This is a done by Todd McFarlane, and it's an homage to the iconic Superman lifting the car above his head. Again, I love, um, I love homage covers, too. Like I've shown a lot of movie homages on here comic book homages i know some people are like i don't like it it's cheap ripoff i don't care give me the cheap ripoff i love homages so you gotta love todd mcfarlane showing a little love to uh superman the og of comic book superheroes really cool cover Ooh, up next is amazing spider-man 4 this is the fantastic four cover and it is done by chris spruce carl story and dave mccraig and gang, this has the old school, the original Fantastic Four vehicle, which looks like they're just in a floating bathtub. I love this. I love the Fantastic Four uh, being a part of this comic. Um, I haven't ex been exposed to a lot of Fantastic Four comics. I want That's a character I really want to get into, especially after reading uh, Mark Russell's Fantastic Four life story. I really love that comic. I want to get into Fantastic Four, so if you got some recommendations, let me know in the comments below. But I thought this was great. The classic, original Fantastic Four. I call it the bathtub vehicle because that's what it looks like. Um, but, it, gang, got to throw that in there. Ooh, up next, we got The Rocketeer Goes to War. This is from IDW. This is the first issue of this arc. It's the B cover, and it's done by Nick Bradshaw and Rhonda Pattinson. 
And you know I love Rocketeer. I was thinking about what Rocketeer to cover to use, and I was going to use one of them just being solo and count the Rocket Pack as a vehicle. And I know some people might be like, that's cheating. It's not actually a vehicle. It's a Rocket Pack. And so I was like, all right, I'll find one that has them in all his glory with the Rocket Pack, but also some old school airplanes up there. So that way, if the Rocket Pack wasn't good enough for you for a vehicle, you got some vehicles in there. So you can't hate because it's a freaking Rocketeer. Let's go. Ooh, we got Ghost Rider issue number one. This is done by Aaron Cutter and Dean White. You have the classic Ghost Rider there riding his motorcycle, whip of chains in the air with all the fire glory. Really cool cover design. Um, I've always en enjoyed uh, looking at Ghost Rider comics the covers. I always think they're cool. Again, not a character I'm super familiar with, so I want to get into that as well as I'm dipping my toe into a little bit more of the Marvel universe because I'm a I'm a very strong DC guy. So I gotta get exposed to some more. So Ghost Rider though, I love this cover. I think it's super dope. Oh, okay. Alright. So this is Filmation's Ghostbusters issue number one. This is by Howard Bender. And I love this uh, series. They, there was a cartoon series off of this as it, when I was a kid. And it's actually, long story short, it was that the cartoon of the Filmation Ghostbusters was a sequel to a live-action movie um, back in, I think, 1975. And that was where the movie that the Ghostbusters movie with... You know, Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd, they had to get the rights from Filmation to use for the name Ghostbusters for their movie. And so they were, I think they were loaned the rights to it. And then they wanted to do an animated series, but they weren't going to use Filmation to do the animated series. So Filmation decided to do their own Ghostbusters animated series and make it a sequel. So the main characters are the sons of the dads from the live action movie, The Monkey's Back. And I know it's like, oh, it's cheating because it's not really prominent, but there's the vehicle in the bottom. And that's what they use to time travel. They're Ghostbusters who use to time travel. And they have a talking monkey who is a part of their team. Like, gang, it is. It, I remember watching this show as a kid and loving it. And what's really funny is a month later, the other Ghostbusters series that's based off of the movie came out and that's why it's called The Real Ghostbusters because they wanted to basically and people got so confused of like oh the Ghostbusters and it's the real Ghostbusters and which one came first and who has the rights and it's just it's crazy it's chaotic I love it I love this series I love I love the other series too but I love having this comic in my collection so that's probably more knowledge than you needed to know about Ghostbusters the filmation side but there you go now you know Oh, up next, we've got Blue Beetle, issue number one. You got to see the Blue Beetle bug. And this is created by Paris Collins and Bruce Patterson. And Blue Beetle is a character that I'm getting into more as well because last summer I fell in love with Booster Gold. And so now I want to get into the Justice League International. I think where Booster Gold and Blue Beetle start to have their friendship. Uh, really cool. So I had to add the Blue Beetle bug in here. It's super cool to see it. It's a unique vehicle. I thought it would really pop and look good in this video of vehicles. And last but not least, we've got Chariot issue number one. This is done by Jed Deckel, I believe is how it's pronounced. I love AWA. I love what they're doing. This was created by Brian Edward Hill. And this chariot is actually optioned for a movie rights and stuff like this. So I'm really excited to see kind of where they go with this and if it actually gets made. Because how often do we get like, oh, this movie's optioned. Okay, cool. And we never see it come to fruition. So I hope this does. Chariot is a really cool book from AWA. If you haven't read it, check it out. I mean, look at the colors on here. It's so freaking vibrant and awesome. And it's like, it's a little nod to the 80s, but... Super cool cover. But that's it, gang. That is my top 10 favorite vehicle covers for the Bearded and Coles comic cover challenge. We want you to do this as well. Find your favorite covers with vehicles. If you get to a point where you're like, I can't even get 10, I can only do eight, who cares? Just make as many as you can. We love seeing your videos. Make sure you tag myself, tag Cole, so we can watch and we can comment on your video. We can share your videos as well, hopefully. With that being said, let me know what were your favorite covers from my collection that I showed. And I can't wait to see yours. So make a video, tag us. And with that being said, Hopefully you can find some time to curl up, grab a book, and nerd out. Peace.